no, no. You say hi? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, okay. That's Porter's new favorite thing to say. He says, no, I don't. He is definitely into the sassy twos. He's being very sassy, but <laughs> you just got to laugh at it. Otherwise, it'll just get to you. So. I will be. And here's Gray. Say hi, Gray. Hi. And there's Felix. Gray's eating his breakfast. Porter, do you want to eat your breakfast? No. Okay. He's helping me make some waffles. Huh? Have they popped yet? No. Not yet. We're waiting, huh? It popped. Oh, it popped. As soon as I turned the camera away, it popped, huh? Yay, waffles. Don't touch. It's hot. Today is a fun day. Today, Grayson goes to preschool. It's Thursday. Mommy. It's October 28th? Mommy. 27th. Can't keep the day straight. Mommy. It's Thursday, October 27th. I want this. And no, no candy. You have to have breakfast. I want this. And no, Porter just wants that. candy all the time. That, um, but today say. is eat Grayson's it. pre or uh, Halloween party at preschool. Yeah. So he gets to wear his costume, which I'm sure I told you guys, but the no. the boys are Winnie the Pooh no. and Tigger for Halloween. No. Porter's Winnie the Pooh and Grayson is Tigger. So we have his Halloween costume right here. We're going to put it on. He gets to wear it to school and they're going to have a Halloween party. They get to have Halloween Oreos. And yesterday at preschool, they made um, pumpkin muffins which they sent me some cute pictures of him helping like stir. So I'll include those here. The boys love helping me bake. They love making muffins. So I bet he just absolutely loved that yesterday. So that was fun. I'm really enjoying his preschool this year. Yeah, Grayson's gonna eat muffins at preschool and we're gonna have to make some muffins. Do you want a muffin? Yeah. Okay. I feel like last year it was very like, minimal preschool which makes sense because they were all like three so like they couldn't do that much sorry i'm looking for a muffin for porter and this year now that they're four and they go four days a week like it's just so official like he gets homework and they get to do lots of activities just one left just for you and so yeah i'm really enjoying it he's learning a ton and he loves it and even better he's in this small class so he could have either been in a 18 person class with two teachers or a nine person class with one teacher and so i was able to get him into the nine person class and i just think that class is so good for him it's so much um more individual attention he's like in so many more pictures because there's less kids and i just feel like they each kid has their has more time to like showcase like show and tell or just different things so i really enjoy that he's in a smaller uh -oh. class but yes today he gets to have his halloween party and especially special this year is they are letting parents into the school this year so every year they do a halloween party and they do an, a halloween parade where all the kids get to dress up and they get to walk around the school i did this when i was a little kid i'm sure everybody did in previous years they haven't allowed parents to come in because of covid um but now things are getting back to normal that they're actually letting the parents come in we get to go in a little early before pick up and we get to sit and watch him uh, parade around the school in his costume and we get to see all his friends and they were like they sent us a message and they said charge your batteries for your camera and I was like does anyone do that anymore like I'm just gonna record on my phone so he is super excited for this party I mean what kid wouldn't be um, Porter keeps wondering where his party is. I told him next year you'll have a party. It's fun because he's going to like a religious preschool. So they actually get to call it like Halloween party. I think next year in the public schools, they call it a harvest party. Just because you have kids from other religions all in the same school. So I'm sure he'll still be able to like dress up and stuff. It just won't be called Halloween. So this year it's like... A legit Halloween party so it'll be fun it's another excuse for him to wear this costume this will be 
the second time he's worn it. I mean, he's worn it around the house, but like the second time out. And those costumes were expensive. They were like 50 bucks a piece with shipping and everything. So any chance I can get him to wear his costume, I will take it. So yeah, I'll try and get some video if I can. Oh, did you finish your breakfast? Yes, I did. Good job. Are you still hungry? Mm-mm. No, you're full? Okay, I'm great. Full. That's great. I want candy. Uh, maybe after lunch, okay? You're no. good. I think you're going to get some candy at preschool. Mm. These kids, they're asking me for candy at 8.30 in the morning. No, food just wait until... <laughs> Monday when we go trick-or-treat on Halloween and then we just have like buckets of candy. Oh man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I actually saw a video on Instagram that said you should not limit candy. You should let your kids have candy. Don't label it as bad. Just label it what it is. And because if you if you restrict them from no, if you restrict them from candy when they're little, like they're just like gonna grow up with like having bad habits of candy and just sneaking it away and eating it so i thought that was really interesting so i definitely let the kids eat it you know here and there um i don't say like none ever but i definitely don't let them eat it like for breakfast like they want to so it's a give and take is it gonna blast off yes okay are you ready yes Okay, ready? Three, two, one, blast off! Whoa! Oh, is it going to go on your tower? No. No? It's not. Oh, it's going to go over it? No. Oh, watch out. Don't crash into our tower. <laughs> These boys love playing with this little... Lego Duplo um, rocket ship set. They just love having the rocket ship blast off and then come back down. They make me count three, two, one to blast off. And then when it comes back, I have to count one, two, three. <laughs> it's so cute. But they both love it. And of course, magnet tiles are always a hit. All so, done. All done. Porter and I are just down here playing with some toys we're about to go and see grayson's parade at preschool so that'll be fun this morning right before we left i had gray get on his costume because he was supposed to wear it to preschool and porter got so jealous that he made me put on his winnie the pooh costume and so he had to wear it too which is funny because before today he has refused to put his costume on he hates putting it on i had to bribe him when we went to the zoo the other day um with like c-a-n-d-y i can't say it out loud or hey well want some and finally i was able to get it on him but this time he was begging me to put it on so we'll see if he makes me put him on it again when we go back but um, i think grayson's having a good time hopefully he's having fun at his party we're just having fun down here um, I'm trying to get some ideas for Christmas gifts um, for the boys. Um, I'm having a hard time trying to find something that we don't already have. <laughs> and as you can see, we have a ton of toys. It's nice that we have like a playroom down here. Yeah, I'm just kind of struggling a little bit with Christmas gifts this year, especially for Porter, because as the second born, I just... <laughs> feel like I already have a ton of toys for his age that Gray got when he was two. And so I'm kind of struggling with what to get him. With Grayson, it's a little easier because um, he just wants a little more like advanced things. So um, my mom is getting them a kitchen. We just have this dinky like $10 one that I got for from Walmart like years ago on Black Friday that's this is it this is it right here and it's fine but like it it's very minimal the one that my mom had I guess it comes with like pots and pans and food and porter is my one that really likes to play with the kitchen so I think they'll really enjoy that so far I've gotten like two things I've gotten like these magnetic blocks um they have blocks at preschool and Grayson really likes to play with those 
so we have like magnet tiles which are like blocks we don't have like block blocks so i got those for the kids and then they also had like this kind of lego duplo marble run which we have the magnet tile marble run but gray gets so frustrated with it because it's so temperamental and you have to be so patient with it which a four-year-old does not have so i'm hoping with this lego one that it'll be more kid friendly and he'll be able to play with it because he's always wanting to do the marble run it's just like he has no patience for it so hopefully that's a good gift i'm also thinking about getting some board games grayson i think i've mentioned this before but he is super into board games right now he loves playing clue he loves playing guess who three two one get down he loves playing Clue. He loves playing Shoots and Ladders. So there's a couple of um, kid games that like we don't have. Like I've heard of like the Sneaky Snacky Squirrel game. And there's like charades, but for kids. So I'm thinking of getting them um, some of those things. And then both the boys are really into Encanto and PJ Masks. Which is funny because like we don't watch PJ Masks that much. But Gray is into it the little bit that he has seen so um i might get like something like that but it's really porter that i'm struggling with on toys to get for him so if you guys have any ideas for a four and a two-year-old boy please let me know down below um and i'll keep my eye out i yeah i have been um looking at like busy toddler she has like gift ideas so I've been watching that and um, I got some stuff on like the Amazon Prime sale, but I'm mostly waiting for like Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So hopefully we'll find some good deals then. But yeah, the holiday season is upon us, which is just crazy to me. Here's how they did a Hey guys, so I don't know that I recorded any more after we did the thing at Gray's school, but he had a great party. Um, Porter and I went and saw the parade and I got a clip of him and then they did, they just like marched up and down a hallway. It was super cute. And then after that, they did class pictures. So I went and took a picture of his class and all the kids were super cute. Um, and he had a great time. They got to eat pumpkin muffins that they made the day before. And so he said it was yummy. And they went on a ghost hunt. So they were like looking for ghosts. And um, yeah, sounds like they had a really good time. So that's done. And then we just kind of hung out here the rest of the day. We played in the basement because it's so cold outside. But it's supposed to warm up, which it will be nice. Um, so yeah, we just chilled. I got super tired. So I was just laying down most of the time. And then we did bath. So not really much else happened today. Um, but I just wanted to like close out the vlog. I'm about to go hop in the shower. And then watch a show with Anthony. He's downstairs already. We've been watching The Watcher on Netflix. Um, it's like loosely based off a true story. And it's creepy. So more, I feel like it's more creepier than the Jeffrey Dahmer one on Netflix. So I think we're almost done with that. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll watch a couple movies. I have a long movie list of like recent movies that come out. Like I usually go on Redbox and just see what movies are coming out. And then we find them for free online. A lot of them are through like streaming devices that we already have. Like HBO Max or Hulu or Netflix or whatever. So we usually can get them for free. And then if all those fail, then I just find them for free online. So we'll have to start watching some of these because we're pretty behind on a lot. So anyway, that's the rest of my night. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.